Breaking the wall of infection diagnostics. Clemens Wassermann, Austrian Institute of Technology, Vienna. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, every four seconds, one life is taken because a bacterial infection got diagnosed too late. So why are we these days still faced with the most fundamental problem of late diagnosis? Well, because it's just impossible to detect only a few bad guys amongst so many good ones. So imagine the six billion human cells you find in just one milliliter of blood be red amandines, the good guys, and the bacteria, the bad guys, be blue. Six billion red M&Ms fill an entire Olympic-sized pool like this one. Would you be able to identify one, ten, or maybe even a hundred blue M&Ms in such a pool? It's the sheer mass that makes fast and sensitive detection impossible. Now, this is the reason why the gold standard of infection diagnosis takes three to five days. And this is why physicians still need to administer broad-spectrum antibiotics in the first place, because they have to act fast, but they don't know what they're dealing with. That's a very problematic strategy concerning the further spread of antibiotic resistance. And this is why in Germany alone more than 5 billion euros are spent every year to treat severe sepsis in intensive care units because an infection already got out of hand. So, but I'm very happy to tell you that we have got the solution. And it's fast, it's fully automated, and it is cheap. We can get, in just a matter of seconds, by microfluidic design and electric fields, we can get rid of nearly all the red M&Ms. Watch the pool. And it's working. As you can see on the left, we can already rupture nearly 100% of all the blood cells. Highly specific, as you can see on the right, the bacteria survived the treatment. So now we've got the bacteria, the bad guys, concentrated. And for the very first time, fast and sensitive and fully automated infection diagnosis is possible with already existing molecular biology-based techniques. This means that immediate targeted treatment and therapy monitoring is now possible. This will save millions of lives and billions in healthcare costs. And we are already planning to finalize a prototype to meet industry by Christmas of 2014. And I'm carrying something with me the last days for Berlin. And it's so small, it even fits my pocket. It's a demonstrator I'm working on right now. So, and you can also see it on the slide. So if there is an infection, this little fellow right here will concentrate the pathogens from 10 milliliters of blood, further increasing sensitivity, fully automated in a matter of seconds, and all at an estimated material price per device of far less than two euros making infection diagnosis 2.0 even possible in remote places and third world countries. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this will break the wall of infection diagnosis. Thank you very much.